uh, in this segment today, uh, we would be discussing the technique of differentiation, differentiation of very elementary functions. In the previous segment, we had seen uh, the motivation for studying calculus, studying the techniques of differentiation and integration. As mentioned earlier, the technique of differentiation is used to find instantaneous rates or geometrically the slope of the tangent at any given point for a nonlinear curve. So, this ability, this is a differentiation is an analytical technique to find instantaneous rate. So, to find instantaneous rate instantly is this is the basic theme of this particular technique. Uh, actually, this technique is based on a sophisticated mathematical idea called limits. There is a concept called limits. <coughs> so, this is based on uh, the concept of limits L I M I T S. And classically, uh, the technique of differentiation. So, when you have a function, a mathematical function could be any function, algebraic function, could be a trigonometric function, a logarithmic function, exponential function, any type of function if we have in mathematics. It is possible to differentiate that function under certain conditions and <coughs> if the function can be differentiated, then what you get after differentiating is called the derivative. So, if you have a function. On differentiating this function, differentiation is like an operation, like we have addition, subtraction, multiplication, division as operations, square root as an operation. We operate on a mathematical entity. Likewise, differentiation is an operation. If you operate on this function, which is typically denoted as d of dx of this whole function. So, dy by dx is a favorite way to uh, uh, denote or notify uh, the act of differentiation the process of differentiation. So, y is a function. So, we are, de are denoting y as a function. If y is a function, then dy by dx is called the derivative of the function. And this act of d of dx of something, this operation is called differentiation. Now, what is this function? Let us say for example, we have y, we are denoting the function as y, <coughs> dy by dx. What it actually means we will look into is that we find the limit as h tends to 0 of this function y at some x plus h minus y of x upon h. This is the classical definition of a derivative. What we do is we find the value of the function at some point x plus h subtracted from the value of the function at x and we make h as small as possible. So, this ratio of the difference of y with respect to the difference in x. So, essentially what it is? It is essentially limit of delta x tends to 0 delta y by delta x. So, change in y or change in the value of the function with respect to change in the value of the independent variable or x, that is what is denoted by this thing. Now, this idea of how to find the limit for different types of functions, this you will study uh, in mathematics. So, in mathematics, we have a proper rigorous course on calculus, differential and integral calculus. So, after you learn functions, uh, you will learn limits and you will learn various techniques of computing limits. So, right now since we are learning calculus, so that we can utilize it in physics and chemistry, we would not try to understand how the limit process works. But this is just to give you an idea that the ultimately the task of differentiation or the process or technique of differentiation involves essentially the idea of finding the limit of a particular function at any given point. So, this is basically the definition. We do not have to deal with it right now. Right now, as I mentioned earlier, if we have a mobile phone, we would not worry about how the chip works and how the operating system works. We will just know how to use the mobile for our purposes. Like a car we use, 
to, uh, we know we should know how to handle the steering, the brakes, the gears and the accelerator so that we can drive and navigate the vehicle comfortably. We don't need to know how the engine works, we don't need to know how the transmission works. The concept of limit is like the engine of calculus. We look into the engine at a later stage in mathematics. Right now, we will understand just the technique of using differentiation which serves our purpose of finding uh, the instantaneous rate, alright. So, I am not going to dwell too much onto this, but you should not be totally ignorant about that there is something like this existing, that is the reason why I just introduced this word or this concept of limits. Now, using the mathematical techniques which we have for limits, for different types of functions, 